If you watched the last video, said Euclid, well, he didn't actually say that. They didn't have videos in ancient Greece, but you know what I mean. If you watched the last video about triangles, said Euclid, you will remember that two lines which are joined at the same point will have an angle between them unless they are on top of each other. OK, said Euclid's friends. They wondered where Euclid was going with this idea. If you start with the lines completely horizontal and on top of each other, and then begin raising one of the lines at one end, you will create a sharp, pointy angle. We shall call this an acute angle, said Euclid. Oh, cute, said Euclid's friends. No, not cute, Euclid said firmly. Acute. OK, Euclid's friends laughed. They did enjoy winding Euclid up when he was explaining things. Now, if you keep raising the line, it will eventually get right to the top. We shall call this a right angle and we'll draw a little square at the bottom to let everyone know. Right, said Euclid's friends. Euclid gave them an old fashioned look. If you start to lower the line over on the other side, the angle won't be pointy anymore. We will call this an obtuse angle. The angle gets more and more obtuse until the line is horizontal again. And then the two lines will be twice as long as when they started. If it's pointy, it's cute. If it's not, it's obtuse, said Euclid's friends trying not to giggle. Euclid ignored them. The line can rotate all the way around until it comes back to where it started, he explained. Now, look what happens when we follow the journey made by the point at the other end of the line. Euclid's friends watched in amazement as Euclid drew the shape. It's a circle, they exclaimed. Well done, said Euclid, glad that his friends had been paying attention. Now, do you remember I said the geometry was all about relationships? Well, the lines have a special relationship to the circle. Euclid's friends nodded their heads wisely. The length of the lines is the same as the distance from the middle of the circle to its outside. We will call the line the radius. Well, what's the outside called? asked Euclid's friends. Um, the circumference, said Euclid, saying the first thing that came into his head that sounded circularly. And when the two lines are exactly opposite each other and still joined at the centre point, so they make one straight line. We will call that the diameter. Euclid was really good at thinking up names for things. That's amazing, said Euclid's friends. It is, Euclid agreed. And that is probably enough for today. I'll tell you more about circles and triangles next time. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Come back next time when Euclid will show you how angles fit inside circles. Make sure you're subscribed and click here for the Geometry is Fun playlist, which you might want to mark as a favourite in your browser. You might also like to follow me on Twitter because I quite often show pictures of the drawings that I'm doing during the day while I'm editing my videos. In the meantime, till next time, be cute. And if you can't, be obtuse. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye.